So if you've been following the channel for a while now, you know that I'm really big on creating an immersive experience. Whether I'm gaming or watching TV shows or watching movies, I generally like to have dynamic lighting syncing up with my TV. The Immersion Strip and Light Bars Combo Model H605B is what I'm currently using and will be focusing on for this particular video. But I want to emphasize that most of the concepts that we'll discuss can be applied to any of the Immersion Backlight models. So if you're someone that's currently using or you're planning on picking up Immersion products, I've put together a few tips and tricks to assist in achieving better color accuracy. Let's first take a look at the saturation setting inside the Govi Home app. For best results, resist the urge to crank saturation above anything more than roughly 30%. You can see here that if we crank saturation all the way up to 100, the colors are far too exaggerated and don't even remotely resemble what's being displayed. However, if we bring saturation too far down, then we get some really washed out looking colors that sort of all blend together. But when dialing in the saturation to roughly 15%, give or take, the colors start to look a lot more in line with the image. And that TV bleed effect that we're going for starts to look a lot more natural. Moving down to white balance, which is now available on later models via an update. This is a much appreciated addition that allows you to tweak and adjust whether the immersion favors blues or reds more so than the other. By default, I noticed that the white balance is cranked up to about 60%, which causes the immersion to push heavy reds. If we slide the white balance all the way to the right, you can immediately see it completely destroys accuracy. On the flip side, if we slide that dial all the way to the left, then similar to saturation at zero, the result is very washed out colors for the most part. I personally like to set white balance so that it favors blues over reds, keeping that round dial just after the reset text. In this way, red isn't too overpowering, considering that this kit seems especially keen on relying on red to represent a majority of the colors. Additionally, I prefer to play games and watch movies with the reactive setting set to calm versus dynamic for slightly smoother color transitions. And in general, for everyday use, I keep brightness between 60 and 70%. Though for the purposes of this video, I've increased brightness to 100%. And last but not least, this tip is more unconventional because it involves going beyond the scope of the Govi Home app. But I encourage you guys to at least give it a shot if you've tweaked all the settings inside the app as much as possible and you still aren't happy with the accuracy. We're actually going to jump inside the white balance setting within the TV itself. Every TV is going to be a little bit different depending on the make and display technology. So be mindful of that as we take a look. Now you can see here that I currently have my TV set to a color temperature of warm 45. I generally keep this setting between warm 40 and 45 because I think that it provides a more natural looking image and it's a lot easier on my eyes, especially in the late hour. Now if we bring the color temperature all the way up to the complete opposite spectrum until we hit cold 50, mind you keeping all settings consistent inside the Gobi Home app, just look at what that does to the color accuracy. The colors are now nowhere near as accurate as they were just a minute ago. So guys, depending on your TV and your setup, it may not be enough to simply adjust saturation and white balance within the app in order to achieve the best results. You may want to look into tweaking a few general settings within the TV itself. And you might even notice some change for the better with adjusting pixel or screen brightness as well. But before you go in to tweak anything, make sure to take note of your own personalized settings in the event that you want to fall back on anything. Before I wrap this one up, here is a snapshot of the primary settings discussed in a side-by-side -side view for better comparison. TV white balance remains consistent across the board at warm 45, and brightness within the app is set to 100% for all four images. The lower right image is showcasing the ideal Govi app settings that we just discussed, with the exception of white balance, which is moved all the way to the far left towards blue inside of the app. On the lower left, we also have the same Govi app settings, but white balance is moved all the way to the far right towards red. The upper right image is showing white balance at the ideal setting, but saturation within the app has been moved all the way over to 100%. And finally, the top left image has all ideal settings in place, saturation roughly 15%, app white balance set just after the reset text, and again, TV white balance remains at 145, as with all other images. And you can see that the top left image out of the four is given the best color representation. Guys, if this video helped you out, let me know by dropping a like on this video. And if you have any specific follow-ups, drop them down below, and I'll do my very best to get back with you. As always, thanks for watching and supporting the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one.